Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. It's Sticks here and guys as you can see we're back in the nether. This is the nether hub. Now let's just spin around. Whoa, super confused as to where I was. Now I'm just gonna hop back up here quickly guys because in the nether, as you know, there are the piglins these days and uh, oh dear, maybe it's in here. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, I was gonna say I'm sure I have some uh, I'm sure I have some gold armor in here. Oh, actually, we should put our, our current helmet in our ender chest just in case we die, you know? That would be fantastic. All right, let's put this on so we don't get attacked by the piglins. Now, guys, we're not going to spend the whole episode in the nether. Well, we might. I actually haven't decided what I'm going to do after this first step. But uh, we're going to head over here. The piglins are not going to attack us unless I decide to open these chests. There was one around here, but... Anyways, guys, let's head down here, and I need to pick up some soul soil, or soul sand. I'm not sure which one you need. I thought I would have some around here, to be honest, but apparently I don't. Um, I'm going to go up to the gold farm, guys. Do these guys give it? Yeah, they do. Okay. So I'm not sure if we need that. I need coal. Do they give coal? Doesn't look like it, unless I've taken it away already. But anyways, um, yeah, I've completely forgotten what all my little guys here trade, but that's okay. Let's head back up, guys. What I need to do is go to the gold farm. So on top of the nether hub, guys, is a gold farm. We head this way. And I miss completely, but that is okay. Let's head up in this direction. And uh, we need to fix this thing because the piglins are kind of ruining it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure Etho did this like when the update first came out. But um, I never bothered because I only needed to come here quickly, but I will need gold in the future and I'm going to have to refill that piglin farm eventually as well. So let's come up here and let's just make sure that no one's angry at us. Nope, it seems that we are okay. So on every one of these levels, I think we need to place um, some soul torches here and that will make sure they run off the edge. So if we go, uh, let's see, one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure if that's going to make them run off or not. What I want to do is fill the outside here with trapdoors so that they think it's a block. They're going to run off and fall off the side here because they will not come to me in the middle. They'll just run around like idiots. And uh, they just ruin the farm because I, what I want to spawn here is the, the old guys. The old zombie pigmen. I want them to stay around. And they come to me in the middle and give me XP and gold. They fall down there. And uh, there's a lot of minecarts in there, so they get crushed. Don't, don't ask me how that works, my friends. Don't ask me at all. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of the piglins spawn. So I need to get some soul torches together. So I'm going to go do that and a bunch of trapdoors. I'm going to head back to the, uh, the overworld and go to my wood farm and uh, get a bunch of wood for the trapdoors and also for the torches. All right, let's do that. I wonder how many torches we need. I'm just going to do four stacks for now. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Okay, guys, so I found Etho's video, and his farm is a little bit different than mine, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. His farm has, like, these columns, like, right here. They go from here down to there that they all fall down, and then they die, and the XP gets shot up to him. Uh, they don't come to come to him in the center. They try to, but they fall down this, this hole. So... Yeah, this isn't going to work as easy because he's just he's just come to the center here and cut out two blocks and then put a bunch of trapdoors and they run off the side. So this is going to be interesting, an interesting fix here, guys. I think I'm going to do that. And what I also can do is basically come here and I think I can take this glass out, all of this glass here. Oh, I just broke that without the touch, although I don't think I'm going to be able to pick most of this up anyway. Uh, what I can do is take that out, I think. All of these blocks and then there'll still be space for them to fall off the sides here which i think will will be pretty good then all of the angered pig men will just run to the center here so i'm going to try it on one side what i'm going to do is just take this these blocks out here um, let me see if i can pick these magma blocks up i don't want to lose them really don't want to lose them oh and i'm up uh, well uh, they're not falling anywhere in particular we can just go and pick them up afterwards but what i'm going to do is just take this out to see if they'll run along this glass in the center to me instead of uh 
anywhere they like. So this this is probably a bit quicker with this glass everywhere because they can get to me on any angle. They don't have to run to the middle. They don't have to run from like, if they spawn here, they don't have to run here and then run down the middle. But I think it's going to be much faster anyway because there won't be all these piglins. Holy heck. I'm going to hit one of these guys sooner or later. But if you're holding down to mine something and you've already mined a block, you can't hit them, I don't think. Okay, so we'll take out those there. Take out all of these. And uh, they won't be able to get through here, so I'll give it a test in just a minute, guys. By the way, guys, it's 2020 and there's still no tool to take uh, glass out. You still have the same mining speed no matter what you mine it with. Come on, Mojang. Come on, this is just silly. Look at these glass structures that take us forever to take down. It took me like two hours to take down my mob farm that day. That was ridiculous. All right, we should be able to test it now. Let's uh, let's hop in here. Oh, we're getting attacked by the uh, magma there. All right, let's do this and come up here and see if they'll come towards us. Let's hit you, my friend. There we go. Let's go stand here. Oh, I completely missed. But it looks like they're definitely coming along there. Okay, that's awesome. They're using that tunnel. Are the ones like that spawn over there? Okay, they're gonna go that way. I'm wondering if some of the other ones. I need to try and get a bit higher so I can see, but then they won't be able to see me. Are these guys gonna walk along to the middle? No, they're coming along here. How did they get over there? Maybe they can get across that one block gap. Oh, this is ridiculous. Let me test it again. Okay, guys, I want to test this again, but I've just thought of another problem. Are they just going to walk off the edge here and walk down and fall through this hole if I attack them? Or are they going to walk around to the middle here and drop off? I think they're just going to walk off. Oh, that's a problem. Let's, uh, let's see if we... We might have to build some little tunnels on the side here to fix this thing up. All right, this could take longer than I expected, actually. All right, that's okay, though. We're actually, I'm actually enjoying this, so it's, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's anger these guys again. There you go. Okay, they're walking to the middle, and that guy's also walking to the middle, and then falling off. Look at them. Look at them all charging on in. Okay, that's cool. It's very loud, but it is working. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take out a whole section here and just test it with the upper layers. Uh, I need to get out of here again. But, uh, oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. That is a problem. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. How are they getting down there? Are they just falling off? Okay, we really need to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay guys, I've taken out one side. Taking out glass is just so slow. My goodness, it is it is a problem. It's taking me so long just to take this out. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay, what I've done is I've got the, the four areas here, the four little pathways in there. Three wide, I'm hoping that's wide enough. It should slow down after like the first Okay, if you kill them straight away, it doesn't it doesn't work. Right, so they should all walk along here. It looks like they're walking to the middle and then along. These are to stop them falling off the side here because they tend to just drop down there. It's very scary being up here. Down here, you're pretty much safe. So they should all file in. It's so loud, but it does look like it's working. I just want to see if the people on the top layer, like I want to watch ones that spawn over here. See if they come to the middle. I mean, we could always put glass around the side as well, but they can't see through the glass, so... Um, we just have to keep an eye on these guys. These guys see us, and they keep angering the piglins. They're out on some blocks on the outside, so that's how this farm works. So we could we could put some glass all around the outside if they don't walk to the middle, but it looks like they do walk to the middle, so that is fantastic. They're still falling. How are they getting down there? I don't understand how they're getting down there. Alrighty guys, looking down at the farm, everything is looking good, everything is in order. They should all come to the middle now and run down there. I don't think they'll fall down there anymore, that guy was already there. So we should be good to go now. Um, and you may notice I'm now at seven um, experience. Yep, seven levels of experience. Um, I, I, you know what guys, I was just flying down there to pick up my glass. I, I, I hit the ground so softly, it's not like I was facing this way and I landed, I swear, just like a normal landing. And I died from full health from fall damage. I, I don't understand this game sometimes. There are still so many bugs in it. It is crazy. But anyways, this is all sorted out. Now we need to sort out the big problem. 
which is getting rid of these guys. So I'm thinking we don't want them anywhere near here. So if we place this down, if we place one here, they should all run away. Now I want them to run off the edges. So what Etho did in his video was cut out the middle couple of blocks on each segment here. So that gives us less spawning spots, but I think it's still going to be better. So if they see this blue torch, they should run away. But they're not going to run off the edge because they know they'll die. So they're just going to run away. And they're going to knock my, my pigmen friends off. Okay, that is not ideal. All right, what I need to do is find the middle. So, oh, I don't have any easily mineable blocks. I think we have a stone box in here. There we go. Got a couple of stacks of stone. There we go. That'll do just fine. Very good. Okay, so if we go over here, I need to build my way out here. Yep, losing more and more blocks as we go. We'll delete these blocks in just a second. That is not what I want to do. So the middle's here, right? And if we go out this way, we should be able to find the middle block. So if we look from here, that is the middle block. So the one's on the left here. And so that's the middle there. So these two sets of blocks need to come out. And we need to put trapdoors on them. I think that's what we need to do. So we can go down here. Oh my goodness, that was close. Hello, friend. Can, can you can you move out the way, possibly? All of you freaks, get out my way. All right, we'll just hit him off and then we'll place a block here so they can't jump up here. There we go. Oh, but all that's going to happen is the ones from this level are going to jump down. So if we do this, take out this. Um, let's try and make this a nice straight line. What am I doing? I'm going to fall off in a second. If I jump up here, we should be able to take this out. Okay, that's the center. So every block either side of that and this one here. Okay, so I think we can place that block back in. And yeah, I don't know how this, why is this so difficult? There, those. Okay, are they going to fall off there or are they going to jump to there somehow? I don't know. So what I need to do is place a trapdoor there, 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 and there. Flap them all down. They'll think they're real blocks and they should just run off the edge. So I'm hoping this is going to work. And then we'll place one here as well. Like that. Now, I'm going to uh, take the same thing out on the floor below and see what happens. Let's make sure we pick up all this white concrete. And uh, let's give that a test as well. Okay, this is this is craziness, my friends. Absolute craziness. This is taking a long time. I thought this was going to be a quick fix. But that's okay. We needed something to do in this episode, so we've, we've found it. We might do something a uh, little after this, but yeah, we're fixing this. It's nice. And there he goes. He just ran straight off. Okay, that's cool. So if we place a torch around here somewhere, he should just run straight off. And I don't want to place these everywhere. These uh, I did make a lot of trapdoors because I was going to do it all around the outside. But I think my, my pigmen guys will walk off. No, they shouldn't because they're all going to be coming towards me. So they shouldn't walk off the side. So we can probably cover the outside of this in trapdoors as well. Um, I just don't want to make, sh make these guys walk off. But they shouldn't. No, it's a block away. So we should be able to go around the outside and do this as well. Okay, interesting. There should be a lot of trapdoors, but as you can see, they're falling off. That is that is working. Those guys are falling off as well. But like I said, uh, they should be running towards me. So I'm going to put these up on every level and on every side. All right, let's do that. A lot more block breaking. Okay, looking around, guys. It's done. All of it has been divided up. I kind of wished I'd picked a different color of trapdoor, but you know, whatever, whatever. We've gone with this now. Birch might have looked quite nice. But anyways, it looks hideous, but it's all divided up now. It would look better with some different trapdoors. Maybe even iron ones, but I, I don't want to waste my iron. Although I do have a silly amount of iron that I'll never use. But anyways, everything's looking cool, guys. It's all divided up into little chunks now. Now I just need to figure out where to place these torches. So if I place one here, they should run off, right? They should run off to one side, but they don't run that far. So I'm thinking of placing another one like here somewhere, and then that'll, that'll make them go off this way. I have started placing these trapdoors on the outside as well. Thinking, I, I think, I think I'll go around and place all these trapdoors as well. We need to make sure we place one there as well. There we go. So this whole side here should be covered in trapdoors, I think. But this is just one layer, guys. I'm going to need a silly amount of trapdoors. An absolutely silly amount. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how these go here. So, as you can see... 
They seem to just be running off because they're running away from the pigmen. So there is not a lot around. Like if you if you look now, guys, it's just pigmen around. They're falling off as well. Hmm, I might want to test it just like this. I might not even need these torches. They might just run away from the pigmen. That might just be enough, to be honest. Okay, because otherwise it's going to be very strategic where I need to place these, because I don't want to make them run towards the middle. So, oh no, I missed, I missed. Oh, I held shift. I held shift. Good enough. All right, um, let's, let's shoot some of these freaks. Hello? All right, that should be working nicely. Let's have a look. They're all walking there. Oh, they're walking over there. Is that because I'm not standing in the middle? That was weird. Okay, I just want to see how many of these guys spawn back in. I want him to run off. Like, he is currently stopping a pigment spawning. This guy here. Which is kind of annoying. I need to jump down here so they all die. Come on, into the fire pit, my friends. Into the million mine carts. Uh, then I need to climb back up. I just want to check how many are spawning. It's working pretty well. It's working decently well, my friends. And that guy's gone. Okay, we might have fixed this. Because this is, this is working so much better. There's hardly any of these guys. They're all running off. Look at them. See you later. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And I, it doesn't look like I'm losing many uh, pigmen as well. So when the pigmen spawn and they're freaking out and running off the edge. Yes, okay guys, I don't think we need the blue torches, but I'm gonna put one at the entrance to each of these things. Let's see if we can do this while being hunted, but look how many there are. This is risky, my friends. Very risky. Let's place one there. Um, oops. I, I don't know how I'm gonna get across here like this. And you guys are stuck over there. They're all gonna fall off like idiots. Uh, there's already one on this side. Okay, there's no pigmen spawning over here. That's safe for us. We are going to get wrecked if we're not careful here, guys. Let's place this one in. Nice. All right, one more to place in. If you guys didn't know, the uh, iron the iron golems are here. Wait, I'm just going to I'm just going to defeat you real quick. Uh, the iron golems are here for slimes cuz magma slimes do occasionally spawn here and they'll try and attack those guys and hop off the edge. Uh, there is a couple missing. I think they just fall off. As you can see, that guy's getting close to the edge. Okay, this should be working fantastically now, guys. I don't know how that guy got down there. I'll have to try and figure that out. But anyways, I think it's working. All right, I'm very happy with this fix, guys. It's worked fantastically. And now we pretty much only have uh, the, the zombie pigmen now. We don't get a build up of the other freaks. All right, that's good. I like that very much. Right, guys, we're nearing the end of the episode, but let's go and find something else to do for the end here. We have a lot of guys falling off as well. Look at all this. That won't happen when we're just sitting in the farm, I don't think. I hope not anyway, because this will lag it out like craziness. We have, we have a decent amount of gold in all of our chests there. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, we need to start building up gold again because I want to use it in the farm down below, the uh, the new piglin farm. So that's cool. All right, let's, let's go back to the overworld, guys. Let's do something nice in the nice sunshine. Okay, guys, we are back in Victoria. Now I want to start adding in some uh, some trees and life around here a little bit and get rid, of, get rid of all the torches. Now, I know the torches stop the mob spawning, but honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it dark like this. I usually sleep through the night, and yeah, it, it, it just kind of looks silly if you just light everything up. So we're going to get rid of a lot of the torches around here. There's clearly a mob in here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I think we need to stick some trees and stuff around the front here. Uh, around this building here, we need to stick in some stuff because it just looks kind of silly. And yeah, maybe maybe around the front of this one. So let's just do a few little detail orientated things around here to get this all finished up. So we got this little bit of grass here, this bit of grass here and this bit of grass around here that just looks completely boring i think probably this bit here i'll do much of this maybe with a small tree around here somewhere i'm not too sure maybe like a brown tree like i could get um i could get the spruce leaves not the spruce ones the birch ones but they're not gonna look they look dead ish don't they but um uh, not super dead. All right, let me go and grab some because I know there's plenty over here. I wish we had like dead leaves and stuff like that as well. No, these aren't looking sad enough, are they? These leaves are definitely not sad enough unless we put them in the desert biome. Then everything looks pretty, pretty sad indeed. But yeah, that's not, that's not good enough. 
Alrighty guys, looking down the street here, I filled all this in with a bunch of random blocks here. So we just randomized it, put in a bunch of stuff, and it did the same around here. And that's looking much nicer. That's just bringing the whole city together. These are the sort of things that finish up an area. So this area is pretty much finished, I would say. Maybe a little bit more needs to go on down there or something. No, it all looks pretty finished. Obviously, we need to do the tunnel, but this area is all like decorated and everything. We have the industrial look here with the like lots of soil and gravel and things. And then as you move over here, there's less like gravel and more grass and different colored leaves and stuff. So I've built a little tree here, guys. I've gone with uh, the oak wood with the spruce leaves. And yeah, it's looking really cool. Um, I like it. So we've placed in a bunch of random blocks and whatnot. And yeah, it's looking really cool. So there's one little area left to do. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing over in this area here. Um, I think I need to take those out and put some uh, some of these in. We'll fix that in a second. I'm just going to fill this area in. I'm going to have it grassy down there. And as it comes up the hill, it's going to get more industrial like I had over like like uh, over there with the gravel and whatnot. And this little area will finish it up. I think I'll build one or two of those similar small trees around here as well. So everything is looking good, guys. There's there's no way into this building, is there? There's no door. What was I thinking? You have to bust your way into this place. I might need to put a door somewhere. Because there's... Okay, so, yeah. It just it just opens straight up here. Okay, so you can't get in if you just break those two. But, I mean, that's not the real... That shouldn't be the real way to get into this little farm shit, really. Alright, that's crazy. Oh, now I'm stuck down here. What am I doing? This is, this is utter craziness. Alrighty, guys. I will be right back, and hopefully we'll have that all in place. Let's... Oh, we're standing in the block space. There we go. All right, fix that up. Right, let's get this last little bit finished, guys. And that'll pretty much bring this whole area here together. Obviously, down here, there's still lights. I need to take these out. I put some street lamps in here maybe one day as well. So, yeah, okay, looking cool, guys. Get rid of the torch spam. Making everything look rubbish. Well, my friends, I think we are done here. We have just filled in this. It's quite green down the front. As you can see, I used, uh, these are oak leaves. Yeah, it's hard to tell with this, uh, with this strange little texture pack that gives it extra leaves on the outside here. Sometimes I can't tell. But anyways, yeah, it's looking really cool here, guys. Added in a couple of little trees looking up there. Fantastic. I am loving it. That has just sort of brought everything together here. So I'm going to take a quick fly. Let's just have a look. So as you fly around now, this area will look much more complete with the trees in there. And you come around here and this is all filled in as well. Okay, that is fantastic, guys. I'm loving that. That is Awesome. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. It was a bit strange, but uh, yeah, we, we fixed up the farm and we finished off a little bit of an area around here, which is really, really cool. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Helps out the channel immensely, guys. I cannot say like it, it, it takes you just a second to go below the video, hit that like button and the channel just if, if you're hitting that like button more often. You know, the channel will just take off, and that's what we're hoping to do here. But anyways, guys, I want to say again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. I know there's not been a lot of Minecraft videos lately, but uh, yeah, we're hoping... We're hoping for the 1.17 update to spark some inspiration in us and uh, we can get back on with some awesome builds. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the very next episode.